told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another hair video, and it is on this gorgeous unit right here. Listen, <laughs> I almost feel like you can't tell me to save my hair. Like, for real, for real, what are we talking about? This is, if I could, if my hair was thicker, I feel like this would be my go-to glam everyday She's not even glam like you could dress this up you could tone it down whatever but this hair is absolutely gorgeous and you can tell by the smile on my face i'm excited to show you this install before we get into this video if you're new i would love to have you join the family so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload i do a lot of beauty content hair nails makeup all of it with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in so if you want to see how i got this beautiful wig installed and the steps I took to get it to look this way stay tuned and keep on watching we have all come to love this purple box this is from the brand love me hair they always pack goodies in the box I got a wig cap they also sent this cute little pouch, which I haven't gotten before. It had an edge brush in it, which you can never have enough of those. A pair of hoop earrings, which are always in style. And of course, a scarf. This is the jam right here. So this is the gorgeous 5x5 lace asymmetrical loose wave side part wig. Now, normally I get a little nervous about closures, but I'm starting to feel more confident in my styling of them. And I absolutely loved the way that this was styled on the website. It did not come out the box looking like it did on the website. You gotta do some work when you buy these wigs that are not completely customized. You see the hairline, you see the curls, they are really tight and this does not look like a loose wave, but we're gonna get her there. So it's a five by five closure. You see it comes with the elastic band on the inside, so this means that we should be able to wear it glueless. There's a comb in the center behind the lace and then one in the back, as well as two on the sides. And then you can see that there are also the adjustable combs in the back. Now this time I did not tighten those because I wanted to see how it would fit with just the band alone. But the curls are popping, we just need to get them to be a little more tamed so this is what the hair look line looks like and yeah she needs a little help i don't love plucking but i've kind of figured out a little process that i've learned from youtube that has made it a little bit easier so i'm feeling more confident about the process and my end results so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like coming out of the box. You can see that it is asymmetrical. So the side that I'm touching is longer than the other side. The left side is longer than the right side. At first I was like, mm, it doesn't really look like it. But once I got into styling it, I could see the difference. So you can see this back really does not have any kind of pattern to the curls. You can wear it like that, but I wanted to wear it more how I saw it styled on the website, which was more of a wave than these tight curls. So what I've started doing when I pluck my hairlines is I pluck a small section in the front and I start by parting across the front of the hairline and then just going in and plucking. Then once I finish with that first section, I part across the front of it again, I pluck that section, and then I part across again and pluck that section. So it helps to make it look more of a gradient effect. 
and I can also have a better idea of how the process is looking along the way versus just trying to pluck with all of the hair pulled back. My tweezers were very sharp and I did put a hole in the lace, which I don't love, but when I put it on, I couldn't see it, thankfully. I do also have scar tape that I will sometimes use if I need to, but finish the first section there and now we're going into the second section. I'm not gonna show all that, but that is the process. And that's all the hair that I took out. So this is what it looks like after I plucked it. I did still kind of feel like it might need a little more, but I decided to wait and just let it sit. I was gonna go ahead and style it and then see how it looked after I curled it and pushed the hair back with the wax stick and use my flat iron and my hot comb and all of that good stuff. So I didn't wanna do too much and then you can't take it back. I decided to use this Mazzani Smooth Guard spray. I haven't used this in a while, found it in my box. This worked really well. It didn't make the hair hard. It just added a little bit of shine to it, but it is a thermal protectant, so it helps protect against heat. Y'all, let me tell you about this styling tool. You saw me haul this months ago. I just took it out the box because I was like, you know, this is probably perfect to style this style that I want. I am absolutely in love. And I think it's great for these hair textures because it has a fan that cools off the hair as you're styling it. So it helped the curls to last. I'm gonna tell y'all, I kept this wig on all day. I was in the garage, I was sweating. My curls fell, but they held. So this tool is definitely gonna be a game changer for my wigs. This is the final product after I curled it. I didn't do my wax stick or anything yet. So the hair is not really completely styled, but I wanted to show you what the hairline looks like now with the hair pushed back. And yeah, I am pretty happy with it. I love how the curls fell. It sat like this overnight and they stayed. So I was ready to put her on and see what the end result was gonna be. All right, so you guys have seen the magic that I worked with this wig. I did show you how I styled it. I'm gonna show you the final, oh, now, I was about to say, now you don't wanna come off. So this is the final product. I did go ahead and pluck the edges a little bit, pluck the hairline so that it looked a little more realistic. You saw what it looked like from the beginning. So I do think this is a much better starting point. And then I just went ahead and curled it all the way around. This hair is so soft. And it is a silky texture, but it doesn't feel like super, super silky. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to go ahead and get her on my head so we can see what she is going to look like. What side are we working? Right side part today. So we are going to put this on. we are going to attempt to wear her glueless because it does say that it is a five by five lace asymmetrical loose side wave part wig this is in 12 inches if you skip through my intro with all the specs 180 percent density she is very very thick and the cap size is 22 and a half inches, which they call their standard medium. So let's just get an idea of what she looks like. She does have the elastic band on the inside. So we're just gonna try to see, I'm gonna add some powder first to this parting space to see if we can get it to match my skin tone a little better. And then we will, well, let's see what it looks like first. So just to give you guys an idea, this is what the lace looks like by itself, not tinted or no powder. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and add the powder just to get that a little closer to our skin tone, to get it to blend better and add some powder in the part. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what 
I think this looks very good. Got a little heavy handed with the powder. So I'm going to have to use my wax stick or something on that part. I do feel like I have a lot of room in this cap, which I kind of like because I feel like I got a big head. And a lot of times these caps feel very tight, but this is sitting very comfortably on my head. So I appreciate that. So I like how this hairline looks. I do feel like I don't want to spray it down. We're going to go ahead and cut this lace off and see how it looks without spraying it because I don't want to do that today. I'm being lazy. I want it easy, throw on and go. I almost feel like this cap is a little big. I did not tighten the straps in the back because I feel like a lot of times when I do that, it ends up feeling like it's too tight. But I may actually have to if I decide to wear this glueless in the future because we got a little bit of space and it does feel like she's a little big. Interesting. Make me feel better today about my head size. Yeah, so we're going to have to, it's a little too jagged in the front. We're going to have to spray her down a little tiny bit. But right off the bat, I like how this looks. We'd have to get just a tiny little bit of spray. Maybe cut this a little bit more. Just to not have too much extra lace, but I feel like this could definitely be a throw on and go wig. So, love that. Always can see my hair right in that spot. So, this is what we're starting with. I think this wig is so pretty. I'm definitely glad that I <laughs> recurled it because... Those curls were doing a bit much and you can wear it like a loose wave or more of a tighter kind of curled pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that up. I really don't want to spray this. We'll put a little bit just to make it lay down because I do want to be able to do this gorgeous wig justice. I'm going to cut this little bit off right here. think this side's okay. So I'm going to spray it a little bit. I'm going to tie it down just so we can see what the final product is going to look like. But this is how the wig is sitting and I love it. All right. <laughs> Y'all can always tell when I'm excited about something, right? So I went ahead. I used my elastic band to tie it down. Got a little residue. Cause I really didn't want to have to spray it, but I knew it wasn't going to look right if I didn't. And I think this residue is a combination from the wax stick and the, uh, the spray, which is fine. You can brush that out. So I freaking love this. Like if this was, if I could get my natural hair to do this, this would be like my go-to perfect, super easy like it's a kind of glam but like you can make it look like you really didn't do too much and the more i've combed these out and kind of separate them i can get it to look bigger and messier or i can kind of tame it down to look a little more wavy i have a flyaway somewhere there we go but i just love how this hairline looks since i plucked it y'all saw what we were working with in the beginning this looks so so much better like look at that
she is gorgeous i saw this wig and i knew that i wanted it and i was gonna buy it and it was sitting in my cart and <laughs> they messaged me and were like hey do you want to try this wig oh my god yes absolutely so this is what she looks like and again i just used y'all okay first of all let me back up because wait i need to cut this piece of hair um that little styling tool that i used this lange lange whatever it is called this thing is ridiculous i've been having this for so long and i have not used it she's coming upstairs i don't feel like maybe i should have shifted her a little more i don't feel like it's as asymmetrical okay there we go as i thought it was gonna be but i'm just trying to make sure y'all can get all of this because this hair is absolutely gorgeous styling it took no time and i just love the curls i love the texture i might try to like get my little hump to be a little more and spray some hairspray to just get this to kind of there we go yes come on hair y'all y'all gotta get this wig i absolutely love it this is definitely now gonna be at the top of my favorites so i'm gonna turn around let you see it all Y'all cannot tell me this is not cute. I ain't got nowhere to go today. I always feel like I look my best when I don't have anywhere to go. Go figure. That is it for this video. Thank you, Love Me Hair, for once again collaborating with me, sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. You see it. I don't have to tell you. You see it. If you are interested, the link for this wig will be down below. It is not a commission code, so I don't make any money off of it, but easy for you to find right there in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you think this hairstyle is cute, give the video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.